Hungarian Social Democratic Party, according to some Ottoman documents in the late 19th, beginning of uh, the yeah, late 20th century. So I'm giving the floor to uh, Professor Lenard, please. Proceed. Can we close? No, it doesn't work. Tomorrow, yes, but we don't have curtains. We don't have curtains. Oh, yeah. We're about to change them. We get the old ones, and without them, it's even better. I can assure you. But it is visible, so I'm, I'm doing the same procedure, you know. I hope I can. Uh, 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 there are no uh, uh, pictures there. They, it's only text. It's a presentation, as far as I know. So it is readable. It's okay. <coughs> okay. Please, the floor is yours. It's okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can check yourself, but it's okay. okay. Although the light is a little bit okay, okay. Yes. more yes, intense. Yes, yes, yes. I am elbow with anxiety. This is the first time. You know, bro. Dear Professor Alexei Polyansky and dear students and members of Sofia University, Clement Opisky University members, uh, before uh, start my uh, presentation, uh, I uh, I want to short I want to shortly uh, introduce myself, if it's possible. I am a professor at Barton University and Department of History. Our university is a young university, was founded in 2008, and the Department of History started education in uh, 2012. Our department has bachelor's and master's degree programs. Even though, uh, even though being a young university, our university is uh, progressing very quickly uh, in 15 years. Uh, or uh, ranking degree in the world, 1,100. Uh, when we started this job, uh, we were in the 5,000th whole university, when we evaluate whole university. So uh, it's a young but uh, very quickly progressing university. In the uh, future, we want to make an Erasmus plus agreement with your university if it's possible. And uh, we want to connect. Uh, we want uh, uh, good relations with your university and university students in the future. Uh, I am here in the uh, context of Erasmus Plus program. Uh, I, uh, I am taking training, some kind of trainings. But even though I want to, I want to make a, pre a presentation for you, because this is a good opportunity for me too. This is the first time uh, I have, uh, I have made a class, a lesson in the abroad, uh, out of my country, and also I have chosen an important topics related to your history, Bulgarian history. My presentation name is Evaluation of the Political Activities of Bulgarian Social Democratic Party during the Ottoman period in the light of the archival documents. The presentation name is that. By the way, Barton is uh, in the northwest of uh, Anatolia. Maybe we are neighbor in the sea uh, with Varna or Burgas, uh, your famous kids. Uh, before starting uh, my presentation, uh, I want to give uh, more information. Uh, today, I want to give, uh, give you a general history of uh, Bulgarian Social Democratic Party. I just want to touch and also, I want to show some documents which belong to Ottoman uh, archivals, Ottoman presented, presidency uh, archivals documents. Because uh, three years before, when I scanned uh, uh, Turkish uh, archival presidency, 
I had, uh, I had seen some uh, documents about this party and uh, I took this document uh, from uh, archival presidency uh, and I have written an important article, a paper. Uh, I have published uh, that paper two years before. Uh, this presentation is a summarize of my paper, my own, uh, my own, my original paper. Uh, I hope you will learn new uh, information about Social Democratic Party, but uh, I want to emphasize again, I am not giving you a general history of this party. I just want to touch the, the Ottoman perspectives about this party. Ottoman uh, perspective about this party. Uh, when I uh, make my presentation, uh, mostly I want to read. Afterwards, I will make some uh, comments. And afterwards, you can ask uh, you can ask me questions. We can discuss uh, important points. Okay. In the light of the new archival documents, this presentation aims to elevate the political activities of Bulgarian Social Democratic. Part. The public meetings it organized, the declarations it prepared, the committee activities it carried out, and the intellectual goals it wanted to achieve in the early 20th century. The party was, as the party was established in a highly cosmopolitan environment. The Bulgarian Social Democratic Party, which emerged at the end of the 19th century, on the basis of social democratic ideas, took part in many important political and social actions in Bulgaria and Western trades during this turbulent period. This uh, turbulent period, uh, as you know, as you know that uh, I guess you know most of things about the Treaty of Berlin, is a turning point for Ottoman Empire and also a turning point for Balkan uh, nations, Balkanian nations too. And also it's very important for Bulgarian history. Uh, as you know that, Bulgarian principality set up uh, by the uh, Berlin uh, Treaty, and afterwards, time after time, Bulgaria uh, gained their independence from Ottoman Empire. The party attempted to organize Bulgarian workers to encourage them to migrate into America, to hold public meetings against the Bulgarian local government, to carry out propaganda actions, to prefer propaganda activities, to prepare provocative declarations, to experience hot conflicts with local government, and to spread social democratic ideas by gaining supporters. In the light of this relief, in the light of this relief at Ottoman archival documents, this study tries to analyze the actions of Bulgarian Social Democratic Party in the perspective of Ottoman officials. Ottoman officials. Maybe uh, past the uh, introduction sections, we can uh, make some evaluations about this party. The Bulgarian Social Democratic Party, which was not known exactly when it was founded, when it was founded, was formed as an idea, took part in various activities and became a part in the following process. The Bulgarian Social Democratic Party carried out some political and communitarian activities in Western trades and Bulgaria under the proclamation of the second constitutional monarchy in the Ottoman Empire. It's a turning point in Ottoman history too, second uh, constitutional monarchy, uh, an important date uh, for Turkish history too. Plus, uh, maybe you will ask, uh, you would ask the uh, questions about the second constitutional monarchy, because when the uh, Ottoman Empire uh, proclaiming pro proclaimed uh, second constitutional monarchy, uh, she lost many lands. She lost many lands, like Gilets, like Bulgaria, uh, and this kind of important lands uh, was lost uh, 
in 1908. By the end of the 19th century, the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party emerged to produce full size within the framework of the concept of social democracy and its intelligible universe. The Principality of Bulgaria founded in 1878 had an autonomous structure but, it, but was still subordinate to the Ottoman state, as I mentioned uh, two minutes earlier. During the period when the party emerged and engaged in political activities, there were political upheavals and social disorders in both Bulgaria and on, on the Balkan Peninsula. The Ottoman Russian War of 1870 and 1878 and the Treaty of Berlin after the war deeply affected the political, military, and social, even cultural structural structure of whole Balkans, not only Bulgarian geography, whole Balkans. The war of the 1870 and 1878, and also we say in Turkish, in Turkish, in Professor Alexi for this war, and the signing of the Treaty of Berlin not only affected the newly established Bulgarian principality in many respects, but also formed an ideological basis in the process of Bulgaria's independence. From the state, until the proclamation of the second constitution of monarchy in the Ottoman Empire, the Bulgarians struggled to achieve their full independence. In other words, the Treaty of Berlin was the beginning of the independence process for Bulgarians. So, Bulgarian states is getting time after time for me uh, with the signing of Treaty of Berlin. So, it's a huge, it's a crucial importance, uh, it has a crucial importance in the Bulgarian uh, modern history. The party emerged in his, in his, in this political and social conjecture. It came to port for forums as a highly active political structure, especially through the through labor movements between 1819 and uh, 1908. Various attempts have been made to defend the workers' law through the party. The party pioneered many public meetings, preferred statements that propagate the workers and at times entered into political quarrel with local Bulgarian governments. So it has lots of conflicts with its local uh, governments. I must emphasize uh, this truth again and again. Within the scope of this research subject, various evaluations have been performed in the light of the archival documents regarding to the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party which actively carried out various actions in Bulgaria and Western France in the early 20th century. This study has come out bringing information and interpretations to activities carried out by this party. In the light of autonomous archives, rather than the purpose of analyzing, establishing, development, authors, and chronological political activities and effects of political party. At this point, it should also be stated the word Bulgaria in our study means the people who speak Bulgaria and virus dialects of Bulgaria. As part of our research, the first document on the activities carried out by Bulgarian Social Democratic Party deals with the issue of the encouraging Bulgarian workers to immigrate to America. It's about immigration, the first statement. So our uh, original section is starting right now, dear guys, dear students. Within the scope of our investigation, this issue was discussed in Ottoman archive numbers 2977-706, titled 
This is the example of option, official letter dated 10th November 1907 from the Bulgarian commissioners. As no, there was an immigration to America to have better living conditions from many countries of Europe since the 19th century. While there were many factors related to these immigrations, it was apparent that the economic factors come to immigration to America was increasing end of the 19th century. The movement of Bulgarians to America as a group was encouraged by the supporters of the Social Democratic Party in a planned method. The reasons for this increasing immigration incident should be examined. Similarly, Bulgarians who immigrated to America with the idea of earning money and returning later their countries, but instead settled, settled their life for the European immigrants, should be investigated in detail to strengthen their ties with their homelands to determine necessary preparations. Besides this information, it was not notified the Grand Desert in, in an official letter that a special commission was formed within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the degree by the Council of the Minister to investigate the issue and was submitted for his approval. When the document was evaluated in general, in general, it's clear that it contains much important information. However, when they analyzed the issue from the perspective of Bulgarian Social Democratic Party, which constitutes all subjects of research, it's apparent that the Social Democratic Party had a crucial role in the immigration of this moment. This moment. There was already an immigration movement from Bulgaria personality at the beginning of the century into America. However, the encouragement of the migrant workers movement by the Social Democratic Party systematically increased the number of immigration among the workers day by day. So, Social Democratic Party encouraged Bulgarian laborers to immigrate to America. So, this official documents prove this uh, important uh, movement clearly. Okay, uh, the situation caused a serious reaction of the Bulgarian commissariat. It seems that the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party encouraged the migration movement of the Bulgarian workers, whose living standard and incomes are low in their homelands to increase their incomes and to have higher living conditions. However, the fact that most of the workers who went to and settled in America did not return and their ties with their countries were weakened, were accepted as an important problem by the Bulgaria Commissariat and it was thought that the problem could be solved through a special work to Born to be established within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. As part of our study, the second, the second document we examined regarding the political activities of Bulgarian Social Democratic Party is about the political activities in, in the Bulgarian principality in the early 20th century, the majority of uh, which are blocked. Especially in the history of Bulgaria, that gave it an autonomous uh, structure why, why the Berlin Treaty of the 13th July uh, 1878, the process after this treaty constitutes an important cornerstone, cornerstone in the Bulgarian history. As a result of the Berlin Treaty, the Ottoman Empire, under under the pressure of the great powers, in the issue of the Russia was mid Balkan lands and had to give autonomy to some of the remaining region under its control. Within the scope of our research topic, the archival documents numbered 288-662 dated 
26 October 1907, entitled to the Supreme Grand Wizards Office. We say in Turkish this uh, establishment, Sadrazamlı. We say in Turkish Sadrazamlı. And uh, its second uh, important uh, uh, establishment in Ottoman Empire after Sultanate, after Padshah. Contains extremely important information regarding these issues. In the life of these documents, dated October 26, 1907, we thought about the violent political conflicts in Bulgaria and was sent to Grand Wizard's office. A day before the appointment of the Sobrania was announced. All members of the central branch of the Social Democratic Party who published statements containing peer words for the public meeting held on opinion they against the actions of the Bulgarian government that was in power at that time and who engaged in propaganda activities as well as making an effort to gather supporters, were arrested by the security forces of the city of Sofia. The government also detained and prohibited public meetings towards the those at any time who hold public meetings against it. Whether they aim to abuse the government or not. As can also be observed from this document, the developments in the geography of Bulgaria during this period were carefully absorbed by the authorities of the Ottoman state and the information was presented to presented, presented to Grand Wizard's office. So this is the second uh, original document which belongs to Ottoman archives. When we evaluated, evaluated as a whole, the documents discloses, explains many significant developments and practices in Bulgaria during the period paving the way for constitutional monarchy. As discussed at the beginning of the century, Bulgaria went through an extremely complicated political and social process. Banditry and commentary activities, which were based on the sum of the gains the Bulgarians had obtained through the Treaty, treaty of Berlin, became a part of, part of everyday life in Bulgaria during this period. To prevent the turmoil in the principality, the local government applied extremely harsh method. Uh, he, he applied for the prevent all kind of activities, social democrat party and this kind of associations. Because it's a, it, a, it was a harsh uh, period of the uh, Bulgarian history. When we make an assessment for this, uh, focus on the activities of Bulgarian Social Democratic Party, we must first express that the party was literally at the center of the incidents that took place in Bulgaria during this period. So it's a subject, it's an important factor in that period. For example, the party is one of the main actors of the public meetings against the local government. The party, as one of the most active political parties of the period, carried out political propaganda activities against the government in the Bulgarian principality. Propagated statements were prepared between the party and there were sometimes clashes with the government forces. The response of the local government to these activities of the party was extremely harsh. As a matter of fact, all members of the central branch of the Social Democrat Party were arrested due to their activities. The party was mostly followed by authorities. Besides its asserted in the study that it will be useful to analyze the third document which contains information about the line followed by the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party after the second constitutional monarchy and the fate it encountered in the next periods. So we are going to look at the third document and this is the last document which we examined. The following statements were included in the document's title to Ministry of Internal Affairs 
available and dated 12 of 1990, same thing the signature of the governor Salome. Salome says, discrepancies have arisen due to elections between social and democratic parties of Bulgaria. Although the parties attempted to hold a public meeting separately, the Karaj government prohibited these attacks. The third document is, is this. In the light of this uh, information, Salim Bey, the governor of the Adriana Pol, is in Turkish Edirne, a neighbor city of your country, sent an official letter to the Ministry of Internal Affairs on 12 August 1990 and stated that the Bulgarian Social and Democratic Parties wanted to hold a public meeting in Karaj, but the Karaj government did not, Karaj government did not allow this meeting. In terms of our research, there is, however, more important information in the documents. According to the document, there was a discrepancy between the Bulgarian Social and Democratic Party in details of the elections held. There are times, both groups try to, try to hold separate public meetings in Karaj, but the Karaj government prohibited the gathering of these meetings. When we come to completion, dear students, dear listeners, we can make an evaluation, a general uh, evaluation about the subjects, and we can say this truth. In the documents that we have examined within the scope of this research, New information about the political activities carried out by the party has been obtained. At the beginning of the 20th century, when a dense Bulgarian population flowed into Bulgaria from other Balkan countries, Bulgarian workers who tried to survive in extremely difficult economic conditions immigrated to America to gain better economic opportunities. Initially, Aiming to achieve economic gains and return to their country, most of the Bulgarian workers, however, settled in America. These migrations of workers to America were organized by the supporters of the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party. Archival documents from the Ottoman period confirm this information precisely and learn. Another important result we reached at the end of the research on Bulgarian Social Democrat Party is about the extremely effective actions of the party in the political field. So it was one of the most important actors uh, in Bulgarian history between the date 1891 and 1990. So uh, within the states, it, uh, it had, it had uh, most of important uh, it had an importance uh, in Bulgarian history because uh, it uh, took place in many important bandatry and community activities. According to the information in archival documents, the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party was an active political government movement in the Bulgarian principality at that time. Serious conflicts took place with the local Bulgarian government, especially regarding the protect protection of the workers' rights. The party organized public meetings for workers to revolt against the authority, carry out the propaganda activities, prepared many declarations, and sometimes by using force. Entered into fierce clashes with the local government forces. The party also attempted to spread its ideas to get ideas and to gather supporters in this way. For this reason, the local Bulgarian governments, which saw the party as a danger in terms of its existence, tried to put, to, put pressure on it and frequently persecuted its subordinates. Despite all this, the Bulgarian Social Democratic Party pursued its actions. However, the party started to lose its former power during the World War I. And, and uh, at the end of the war, it was divided into two parts as social and democratic party. So, at the end of the World War I, uh, it was divided into two parts, uh, social and democratic parties continuously raised uh, separately. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, thank you very, very much.
Thank you, Professor Yunal, for the concise presentation. I, by no means, will speak on behalf of our young colleagues, but for me, it was my commentary, please. For me, it was extremely interesting this less known Ottoman view on the Bulgarian vassalage. What was important, what was not important, the commissariat, because uh, this is uh, practically undeveloped and, and underexplored a, a subject which might, if put uh, it properly, and I would say this is the beginning of this, uh, thank you for that, uh, would, uh, I think, uh, uh, clarify and shed some light on some. Uh, uh, for me, amusing and interesting, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how the uh, Ottoman Commissariat uh, in Istanbul, because there is a collection of documents of a, a Ottoman a Commissar here in Sofia, as you know, it's a huge collection. It's still not published. It is not known to the Bulgarian public in general. Well, for instance, uh, they protested the uh, the construction of uh, the Silvestri monument, as probably know, and they had the right to do this, uh, oppose this, etc., uh, etc. Et and they were, in, I think, I think, probably so, in Istanbul, and then, because Karaj was on the Bulgarian uh, Constitution, what the digital police is saying, but Edirne was there, and it was practically the realization of Edirne, yeah? the modern realization of Edirne. So you see how. How they, the local authorities, called the observed some things that they were following before the proclamation of independence in Bulgaria. Of they were 